In this video, we will show you how to create your first project with the SAM E70 using MPLAB Harmony version 3. If you are new to Harmony version 3, be sure to watch our video, How to Set Up the Tools Required to Get Started with Harmony version 3. This project is based on the SAM E70, our Cortex M7 microcontroller. For this video, we will use the SAM E70 Explained Ultra Evaluation Kit that contains the AT SAM E70 Q21 microcontroller. This kit has an onboard EDBG embedded debugger. Our goal in this video is to send a hello world string to a serial terminal window running on a computer. To achieve this, we will create a project, configure the clock settings, configure the peripheral library to configure the serial communication USART, we will configure the USART using the MPLAB Harmony Configurator, a GUI-based tool. We will also help you to configure the pins and then compile the project and see the output. To get started, launch MPLAB XIDE. In MPLAB X, select File, New Project. In the New Project window, select Microchip Embedded in the Categories window and select 32-bit MPLAB Harmony 3 project in the Projects window. Click Next. In the Manage Framework section, enter the path in which the MPLAB Harmony version 3 packages are downloaded. Click Next. Under the Name and Location section, Location indicates the path to the root folder of the new project. All project files will be placed in this folder. The folder field indicates the name of the MPLAB X project folder. Here I have entered Hello World. The name field indicates the name of the project. This name will be displayed in MPLAB XIDE. The path information will be updated as and when users make changes to other fields. Click Next. In the Configuration Settings section, enter the configuration name. In the Target Device drop-down, choose the MCU. Here, we will use the ATSAM E70 Q21. This is the MCU available on the kit we plan to use. Click Finish to launch the Harmony Configurator, or for short, MHC. Before launching the MHC, in the Configuration Database Setup window, retain the default configurations of the Device Family Pack or DFP and the CM SysPath. Click Launch and the Harmony Configurator plugin will open. Please note that, for this video, Native NetBeans mode is used for the MHC Window Manager. You can change to this mode by clicking Tools, Options, Plugins, Window Manager, and selecting it from the drop-down. Click on MHC, Tools, then Clock Configuration to launch the Clock Diagram window. In the Clock Diagram window, you can configure the clock. Here we will use the default processor clock that is set to 300 MHz and the master clock that is set to 150 MHz. To add and configure the USART Peripheral Library, under the Available Components tab, expand Peripherals and then expand the options available for USART. Double-click on USART 1 to add it to the project. Select the USART 1 peripheral library in the project graph. In the Configuration Options window, keep the USART 1 baud rate at 115-200. To configure the USART pin, in the Harmony Configurator, select MHC Tools, then Pin Configuration. The Harmony Configurator Pin Settings window will display these options. Pin Diagram, Pin Table, and Pin Settings. According to the SAMe70 Explained UltraBoard schematic, the onboard embedded debugger can be used as virtual COM port to have serial communication between the SAMe70 device and a connected computer console. Therefore, in the pin settings, PBO4, pin number 105 of the SAMe70, must be configured as USART1 transmit pin. In Harmony Configurator, under MHC, click on Save State to save the state before generating the code. Save the configuration in its default location when prompted. In the Generate Project window, click Generate to generate the code. 
You can go to the project configuration path and check the generated files if needed. For our project scope, add the following code in the main.c file as shown here. This code here will define the string to be printed and send the string. Connect a micro USB cable between the debug USB port on the board and a PC. This enables the programming of the microcontroller and provides a serial connection with the console device. In MPLAB X under Project Properties, select the SAMI 70 Explained Ultra as the target kit in the Connected Hardware Tool dropdown, and select the XC32 version 2.41 in the Compiler Toolchain window, then click OK. Open a serial terminal application, such as TerraTerm, on the PC and perform the serial port setup. You can now build and program the SAMI 70 Explained UltraBoard by using MPLAB XIDE. Here, you can see the Hello World string printed on the console. If the desired output is not seen on the console, press the Reset button on the Explained UltraBoard to reset the device. Finally, we have provided some useful reference web links. Here is the MPLAB Harmony landing page, where you can find all of the information about Harmony version 3. These are web links to some of the Getting Started collaterals available on our site, which are related to this video content. Thanks for watching.